All right, let's run out to New Jersey and talk to Maggie. What up, Maggie? How we doing? Hey, just partying. What are you doing? We are partying until the wheels are falling off. (laughs) Not true at all. We're being kind of boring, actually, Maggie. What's up? Uh, I have a question. What's up? My uh, fiance lied to me for five years about a day trading account he had. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, he claims he made uh, 200000 and lost it all. And during that time, I paid all the bills, and I wound up doubling the mortgage on my house. And I'm having a real hard time moving past this, even though I found out in February. Huh. You doubled your mortgage, or you've been doubling up on your mortgage? I had to. Uh, I had to refinance it twice. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. What has he been doing? Well, now he's been trying to rectify the situation by working his tail off and trying to get his account back. But he, and other than this, he was the perfect guy. He was the perfect partner. No, he wasn't. And I'm old. No, he wasn't. And I'm older, and I just I'm like he I wasn't. Do not want to have to start again. You're right. He wasn't. And if he's lying to you about this, he's lying to you about other things, and you know that. I I really don't though. He sw- I I think I he swears no. Has he given you a printout of the last five years of this trading account? Yes, I've seen all the I've seen all the information. There's been total transparency moving forward. And so, why are you choosing to let what happened? You you chose to stay, mm-hmm. and so you've been choosing since February to not move past this. How come? I think I've got a couple sticking points that are that are getting to me. What are they? One is I think I I can't get past grieving the life I was promised. Okay. Uh, another one is how elaborate the lies I was told are. Mm-hmm. Because he was, you know, he was said he was going to take the money out, but then he couldn't access the money. So that just got crazy. Um, and I just, I have a hard time thinking that, you know, somebody who really loved me would not do this to me. Yeah. And I'm having a hard time trusting myself. I, I, I think this, Yep. That's what was the hardest part. Like, yeah, I just told that last caller that. Did you hear that? I just told the last caller when somebody cheats on you, which is what he did. He cheated on you. Yes. Um, there's the cheating. There's the mm-hmm. imagining your spouse with somebody else, right? The actual physical act of him sleeping with somebody else. There's the thought of the actual picture of you going to work. Are you going to the bank to pull out a second mortgage and him watching you go knowing he's got this other account. There's that mm-hmm. image, right? Which is devastating. Mm-hmm. And underneath that is, is what I think is a scarier prospect, which is Maggie no longer trusts Maggie. Yep. And that's unnerving. Mm-hmm. Especially at my age. And I've been through a lot. All my previous relationships were abusive. Of course. And I, I really worked really hard to, you know, go to therapy, get myself right get right in my head, you know, deal with everything. And now it's just all that's been kind of shattered again. Yeah. Why are you still with this guy? Yes. Why? Uh, That's a good question. (laughs) Part of it's financial. We live together and we have to. Um, Part of it. hundred percent. hundred percent. Don't agree with that. (sighs) It's not true. That's a story you're telling yourself for the life that you want. You're willing to share a bed with somebody that you don't love, or maybe you love the idea of them, but someone who hurt you deeply and you're still unable to. No, I love him. I love him completely. I know I do. Okay. So you're somebody you love, but also somebody who hurts you and you can't fully exhale in your own home. What else? Why else do you think you can't? You're still with him. Um, I think that I don't want to start over again at my age. After old, what I've you keep mentioning now. your age. How old are you? I'm 54. I'll be 55 next year. So what are you willing to put up with? If you had slept with your friend, would that be enough? That would not be tolerated. I know this is, this is the same thing. I get it. It's, it's financial um, infidelity. It's, it's the same thing. I totally get that. Have you ever, y'all sat down and pulled his credit report? Yep. And there's no other accounts on there? Nope. 
this was just a one-time isolated thing where he was running. How much did he did he get and lose? Two hundred k. How does somebody filter two hundred thousand dollars in and out of their relationship? Does he make that kind of money, or did you turn your a blind eye? I turned a blind eye, like okay. I did in my other relationships, and that's another problem I'm having with myself right now. <laughs> yeah. So, are you mad at him, or are you mad at Maggie that you went through all this counseling, you've been through hell and back, and then here you go again? Both. Okay. Here's the hard truth I'm going to give you because I love you. Mm-hmm. You've chosen to stay. Mm-hmm. You've chosen to allow him to stay in your home. Mm-hmm. And every day you're choosing misery. And I would suggest you need to make one or two different choices. Either. I don't feel miserable every day, though, but I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You you have learned the skill over 50 years of your life to smile, to brush things under the rug, and to take how Maggie feels about something and shove it so far down that you can get through a day. True or false? 100%. Yeah. The only problem is, as the great Bessel van der Kolk says, the body keeps the score. You can't outrun your nervous system. So while you're like, everything's great and wonderful, and I know where all the money is, and it's all good, and he's still handsome, and I'm not alone, and I'm so desperate to not be alone, I'll settle for this, because it's all okay. Your nervous system says, that guy's not safe. Or maybe it's saying, Maggie, you're not safe again. You're not safe again. You're not trustworthy again. Fair? It's, it's all directed at me. You're right. What happened to Maggie that you think so little of Maggie? Lots of abuse. Yeah. Narcissistic abuse for about pretty much my whole life. I'm sorry. Parental than, than an ex-husband. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, I thought I'd moved past everything. I mean, I'd been in therapy for years and years and years. You know, I left my ex-husband. I got right in my head. I, you know, I did all the therapy I had to do there. And now then this happens. Yeah. Thing about therapy what I is. was a perfect relationship. Yeah. Turns out to be just the same as the other one, just different, right? <sighs> Better, but yeah. Some similarities for sure. So how can I help? I need to know what to do. <laughs> what to do for what? I probably already know what to do, don't I? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, if you were my sister, I would tell you, strongly consider taking a break because bo- you haven't slept yet. If you were my sister, I would put my hand on both sides of your face and I look you as deep into your eyes as I could. And I would tell you, I love you and you're worth more than this. You're worth a more than yet another abusive relationship, except the abuse here is with somebody who's kind instead of somebody who yells. He's kind and sweet and loving. And he watched his fiance or his wife continue to shovel the hole to hell deeper and deeper and deeper while he was over here playing playing Leonardo DiCaprio at the at the roulette table. Except he called it Wall Street. That is nothing I have not said. <laughs> <laughs> and you're worth more than that. And, and I know there, I am. There's one of two things happening here. Either in your guts... Deep in your guts, you know there's other things out there. You know the truth is not f- fully on the table. That's one. Or two, you have not fully come back to the table, which I'll say in a, in a kind of a twist is cruel to him. Because if you say you're going to stay 
he messed up and he messed up bad. And then he lied to you and lied to you and lied to you. And together y'all dug quite a hole for yourselves. You are the one who went and got a second mortgage and a third mortgage. That was a choice you made. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So here's the hole. But if you said I'm all in, I forgive you. You've come clean. Here's all the information on the table. But you're still one foot out. That's cruel. It's not cool. You're absolutely right. And, and I, I do know that. And I, I believe me, I've been back and forth and back and forth. And I, that, that makes me feel as bad as anything else. Well, I mean, feeling bad is not going to solve it. You know what I mean? It's a matter no, of, you're right. it's a, it's a matter of saying, okay, I'm going to try for 30 days to be all in. What does that mean? That means I'm going to carry a journal with me at all times. Okay. And every time I have, get a sense in my gut that he's not telling the truth, I'm going to write it down. Okay. Every time I get a sense in my gut that something's not right, doesn't feel right, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to stop where I'm at. Kind of like when I first started counting calories when I had to get control of my eating. Every meal, I stepped into the bathroom and pulled my phone out to put it into this little app I have. It was so annoying, and it was every single time. And that's how, over time, I learned to trust my body, to trust what's on the plate in front of me, to trust all the things. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I need to see the patterns. You got to start. Is my body crazy? Is there something else here? Or is this part of the healing journey? And every time you have a, uh, you feel something bubbling up, say the words out loud. I'm feeling vulnerable here, honey. And I'm feeling a distance between us. I'm feeling a sense of panic. I'm feeling a sense of anxiety. I'm feeling a sense of, uh, I have one of the old thoughts zooming back in my head and it's just sending me off into a tailspin for a second. I'm going to go for a walk. I'll be right back. And what you're doing is you're practicing taking control of your body back. See what I'm saying? Absolutely. The work it makes it, perfect sense. It's just hard. It's going to be hard. Mm-hmm. Nothing's fun about it. Mm-mm. But are you convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's been completely open with you, 100%, all in? Since it happened? Uh-huh. Yes, I am. I am, yes. Do you think things happened before and uh, he just didn't tell you everything? Um, I think it was a lot of panic and him lying to himself and him setting unrealistic goals for himself because of the goals he had for our relationship. Okay. I think if I didn't feel that way, I wouldn't be able to forgive him. Just if, I don't know if that makes sense, but that he got, he, he was trying to, yeah. he's trying to do something beautiful and then he freaked out. And it went sideways, and then he freaked out and freaked out and freaked out, and then he dug himself a huge mess? Yeah, that's what I think happened. Okay. That's very um, very optimistic of you. I know, and I know that's very generous, but after hours of conversation, I have come to that conclusion. Okay. Then I think your, your decision moving forward is, am I going to forgive Maggie for having missed it again? Yep. Right. And maybe every time it bubbles up, your conversation is not with him, but it's with Maggie. Maggie, we missed it. And we're, we're, we're back now. Right. Because I look at the budget every week. I look at our accounts every week. He brings and home I his... I look at them every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, brings home his, he brings home his pay stub every week, and I see it. Mm-hmm. Right? You see what I'm saying? No, Absolutely. And so I think it's just a matter of slow learning how to trust Maggie. And I, I don't know a way to do this without writing it down and getting it out of your body onto a piece of paper. I don't know. I was talking to my friend, Dr. Stephen Bonner today, um, who's a coach, and he, I mean, we were just talking about that exact thing. I don't know a path forward unless you get it out of your body onto paper. And so carry a journal with you. Maybe ask yourself, is this about him or is this about Maggie? How could I do this again? I'm learning. I'm learning. How in the world could I get with another abusive guy that doesn't tell me the truth, that dug a hole like this? How in the world could I go take out a second and third mortgage on my house instead of just selling it and moving to an apartment? How in the world did I let that happen? I did. 
I'm going to own reality. I'm going to choose reality. And I'm going to move forward. 